Here we are in Reaper, and we've got the audio we recorded at the Canada French Hawaii Telescope where we did the balloon pops. And I've zoomed into one of the balloon pops right here. And we're going to export this as a multi channel wave file that we can bring back into Reaper, into Reverb, and use it as a multi channel impulse response to create a multi channel reverb. So let's do that. So I've got our section or our uh, selection selected right here. Let me just double check that. Let me zoom in a little bit, make sure that we are capturing just the front part of it bring that in that looks good to me so now we come up to the render window go to render and we come up notice it's 12 channels by default you get mono stereo um, four six or eight to get to 12 channels and why do we need 12 channels 7.1.4 immersive audio requires 12 audio channels so we take that stereo and just put in 12 and you can go all the way up to 128 channels in Reaper because Reaper is really cool. So we've got dome reverb, 12 channels. We're going to render that file out. Um, and I've already created one before, so we're just going to overwrite it. And there you go. You can see it actually rendered out all 12 of those audio tracks. Let's go check that out just to make sure. So let's close Reaper, go to the drive where I stored it into the folder. There's our dome reverb, go to get info, and we can actually see right here, it is a 12 channel audio file. All right, now let's open up Reaper again, bring that in and create ourselves an immersive reverb. All right, what we're gonna do now is open up Reaper and create a session and use that impulse response in a reverb using Reverb in a multi-channel format 7.1.4. So first thing we need to do is add a track. And now here's the complexity of when doing immersive audio. So this track needs to be 12 channels and right now by default it's two. So we're gonna make this 12 track channels. Uh, we'll send all to the master. And then for this to work also the master bus needs to be 12 channels and by default it is two unless you've changed how reaper comes up so we've got the output set for 12 channels um, i'm going to add a plug to this that we'll use for binaural decoding um, as part of this demo it's called virtuoso it's by apl it's fantastic and it's my default means of going to binaural rendering from immersive audio so we need to set that up for um, our 7.1.4 setup i'm going to bypass it at first and you'll see why um, as, as we get into this so i have uh we are all set up now with uh the track and we need to record and enable it so let me uh turn off my uh monitoring right there so now we're just listening to what's coming through the computer into Reaper. Notice it's still stereo coming in, but when we come down to the master bus, we only have two channels of the 12. So we need to change something here. We need to add a panner in here. So we're gonna add the Rhea surround pan. And you can't hear me anymore, even though you see the things, and now you can start to hear me as I move these over. Um, so we're still coming into the stereo. Uh, which is fine for what we're doing right now. I've got it set to 7.14 sound and you can see the audio on the little level meters down here. Uh, we don't have anything going to the heights yet. So let's change that a little bit with this. Um, won't really matter too much for what we're doing. And now you'll see that we have some of the front height, left front, and then down here, the left front height, right front height, and some in the center. We don't have anything in the sides, that's fine. Okay, so now we need a track to put the reverb on. Um, it's the complexity of adding reverb to a multi-channel track is a little bit different than stereo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set another track up here and we're going to uh, add the reverb to it. Once again, this needs to be 12 channels. So we're gonna go to 12 and send all 12 of those through. And now let's add our effects. We come over here to effects and reverb right here excellent i'm going to turn the wet all the way down and the dry all the way down because we're just going to use this as wet okay let's add the file that we created earlier uh, so we go to file and that's that dome reverb file right there notice all of the uh indep independent channels that are on here on that one um, track so interestingly we have left and right here 
But the way I render out the Quad MS uh, mic array is we don't actually have a center channel, LFE channel, or side left and right, which is these four tracks here. So we have the main left and right, and then the rear left and right, and all four of our heights. Okay, so now if I, uh, we need to do one more thing, because if I bring up the wet level, we're not going to hear anything yet. We're not routing the uh, incoming mic to, uh, track to this. Let's label this one reverb. Not that it really matters. And then we'll take this, route this down to here, drop it in, and we need to send all 12 channels to it, or it's not going to work right. It may work in stereo, but we won't really get what we want. Okay, so here we go. And now if I come back over to here and bring up the wet, you can hear the reverb. This is epic. This is exactly what it sounds like in the dome of the telescope. Um, let me come back over to the master, bring this down a little bit so when you hear me, it sounds a little bit better. Uh, one thing I want, to, want you to hear is how the tail of the reverb decays. It just kind of drops off. You can use either a longer impulse or taper that one um, for a different response. Okay, now if we come down here to the effects here, put this uh, enable the binaural rendering, it's gonna sound a lot different. Uh, let's bring the reverb back up. Yo, yo. Love it. Okay, so that's how to add a multi-channel wave file into reverb and get to a multi channel reverb using Reaper and recording your own impulse response. Cheers.